Hello, hello to you and yours out there and welcome back to episode 2. Now, for those that have been following this journey up until now, I just recently came back from an ass whooping and a half but I must say I really 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 did justice playing the King of Fighters 2002 Magic Plus and ish, ish, I really tried my best ladies and gentlemen I really really tried my best but you know what they say when the gloves are off the gloves are off. It was an awesome experience being able to you know like play retro slash arcade games but unfortunately, there can only be one winner in this situation, particularly if you are playing against someone else. So, moving on to much more interesting things, gaming emulators. Yeah, so for those that are watching at home and do not know exactly what I'm referring to, basically, in a nutshell, a gaming emulator, like, I'll just make an example. You find that you have an app on your phone let's say a photo editor app on your phone take that photo put it into the app and you're able to do all these glorious things that you want to do on that app be it adjusting the brightness the aperture whatever the case might be and all of those fancy things same thing with a gaming emulator a gaming emulator is is able to give you the opportunity to play a long list of games that's stored up into one little storage that allows you to play whatever type of game that you can think of and we are talking not only fighting games that i have been playing in the past two episodes being king of fighters 2002 magic plus 2 as well as uh, uh what's this uh street fighter 2 but also kung fu master spinning masters your metal slugs uh, your Mortal Kombat as well as your Double Dragon. So the reason why Main32 is like the most popular gaming emulators, especially amongst us as Amachita, three particular reasons. One, it's accessible. Two, very much free. And three, every, other, every and any other game that you want to play there is very much easy to understand. And what, and what do I mean by that? Remember when I, when, I, when I said to you guys that in episode 1 when I was demonstrating how to maneuver around the characters that you were using in King of Fighters Magic Plus 2 and I'm going to use King of Fighters a lot because I know very much Uguti, fighting games at this present moment is like the end thing right now obviously below Dota because I mean hey guys who loves who, who doesn't love Dota I mean Anyway, but getting back to the topic matter at hand, the reason the, when, I, when, I, when I'm talking about being able to maneuver around the characters, I mean, it's so easy for you to, to specially customize all the controls to your, to your liking and to your own taste. And it's easier for you to just like being able to encapsulate the, char the character's movements, the character's flow, and exactly how you are able to interact with the character on the game itself so these very reasons will allow you to be able to experience the game in its whole fullness and if you still don't understand some of the things that happen in that very gaming emulator do not worry i'm going to have a special episode whereby i'm just going to be talking about main 32 as a whole talking about its history and everything like that now moving from pc and going back to arcade and retro gamings so we un we understand that when it comes to arcade and retro gaming being your normal stick there and those little buttons on the right because that's normally how it's designed there you'll find two types of games one you'll find a machine that normally has only one game to play all right and irrespective whether that game at the end of the day, that's how that particular machine was designed, just to play one game. And then you have another type of uh, arcade machine, which they call a game box. Works in the same manner as Imame 32. It's a gaming emulator. So because of its biometrics, it allows the, the, the person who designed that game to be able to store a lot of games so that 
in a way, you would see, no more you you going through all these lists of games, more lapa eight or and trying to see would see exactly what you want to play. The system won't crash, and trust me, there's nothing more annoying whilst you're playing your favorite game than having to see yourself being in the middle of an awesome game and then this jet lagging. Or oh, worst case scenario, the system crashes. Dun dun dun. And this is where most people end up flipping. And trust me, you do not want to find me in a situation whereby I flip. Because when I start to flip, yo, it gets hella trippy. So please guys, just make sure, tracking back again, system requirements, make sure that your PC meets and matches the system requirements of the gaming emulator, otherwise you're screwed. Because that way, you won't be able to experience the game in its whole fullness. So, just to wrap up this part of this particular episode before we move on to better things, I'd just like to say one thing and one thing only. Only true legends reign supreme. I'm sure you were wondering to yourself, Puguti. Now, nah, probably he's gonna give us more extra information on a particular subject matter. No, I just wanted to say that. And of course, since we're gonna be moving on to better things, being episode number three, which is gonna be coming to your screens very soon, I'm going to be giving out a special prize giveaway because Christmas is around the corner, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm not gonna to reveal too much about the prize, but as long as you follow me on all my social media handles and you get to know exactly what I am really talking about, then trust me, that prize is gonna definitely gonna be 